everyone, welcome back to the Waterstones vlog. My name's Sean, and today I am here to talk to you about my all-time favourite duology and that is the Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. So Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom are both set in the Grisha universe which was first established in Lee Bardugo's trilogy, uh, the Grisha trilogy, that's what it's called, um, but that is Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising. Um, these are also really good books, so if you want to check them out I definitely would recommend that. But I much prefer Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Um, you can read these two without reading the Grishaverse books first, you don't really have to read them in publication order. These completely stand on their own and they make complete sense without you having to read the other trilogy. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom are basically kind of mostly described as like an Ocean Eleven meets Game of Thrones kind of world. I love them, like I absolutely love them. Lee Bardugo has become one of these authors that I would buy anything she writes. She's an auto buy author for me um, and that's because of these two books. Um, like I said I liked the Grisha trilogy but these two absolutely had me hooked from the first page until the very last page in the second book. Um, I would read her shopping list, like I would genuinely read her shopping list. It's got um, several different point of views throughout it but Kaz Brackett is kind of like the main character. Um, he is given the once in a lifetime opportunity to gain himself an insane amount of wealth which obviously any criminal wants to do um, but to do that he has to break into a, a military stronghold which is called the Ice Court and it's never been breached before like it's impossible so say to breach the Ice Court um, and Kaz decides to take it on but to do that he knows that he needs to put a gang of the worst criminals together to be able to get into the Ice Court without killing each other first. Basically they have to break into the ice court because they need to retrieve a hostage who could wreak havoc on the world and absolutely destroy their world as they know it. So the fate of the world essentially hangs on six crooks and teenagers who are all thieves, who have all done dastardly things in their life and they need to get on and they need to survive together to be able to get into the ice court. And so much happens! It's a fantasy heist and I just love it, every second of it. So I'll start off by saying that um, Lee Bug Dugo writes some of the most incredible characters that I've ever read. Usually I really struggle with multiple point of views because I find myself losing interest in certain characters but with this I didn't because each character has really genuinely got their own unique voice and I think sometimes with multiple points of view it can kind of blend into one and you don't know when you're reading a different chapter from a different character. That is not the case with these books. They are all so unique that you know when you've swipped, switched characters. Each person in this book has their own incredibly interesting backstory, they have their own strong personalities and there wasn't one character that I read from that I got bored of. I really enjoyed reading from all of their points of view. I could genuinely read a book on each of these characters on their own, on about ev about everything that they've been through in their life. I would probably say that Nina and Inej were my favourites, you know, girl power and all that, but Kaz Brecker is just, he is one of a kind. I want to be able to read everything from his point of view. I love him. He is wonderful. They all have their own quirks and kind of their own interesting dynamic between each other. Kaz is kind of the glue that's holding them all together because he is their boss. The characters aren't all just really kick ass and they can't all just magically fight and they aren't amazing. There are a lot of intelligent characters and they use their mind and they use their wits, especially Kaz. He just, he's so smart and I think my favourite part about him that was he often used his intelligence as a weapon as opposed to, I mean he could fight but his intelligence was his most important weapon and I really enjoyed that about his character. The storyline and the plot was also incredibly interesting and so fast paced throughout both of the books. I will add both of the books because I am talking about the duology as a whole. Um, first book great, second book just adds a whole another level to this du like to this duology because usually you kind of get the first book yeah it's great and then the second book kind of brings it down a notch nope not with these two books they just they work so well together and they just tie up the story so well and so much happens there's so much suspense and there's so much action so as i previously mentioned lee bardugo obviously has a whole universe already created with the grisha trilogy and it just expands even more in these two books. Um, you don't have to read the others though to 
to just feel the depth of the world in these. You, you read these two books and you just know that there's so much world history and you know that so much has gone in the, on in the past without her having to tell you that, you just, you know. The books are incredibly atmospheric and um, her world building I think is spot on. Again, she's another author who, her worlds just captivate me and they draw me in and I want to spend all of my time reading about them. If you want a couple of books that are going to keep you hooked from the beginning until the end, that's full of fantasy, magic, heists, criminals, dangerous magic, all of the above, read this, read these books because I can't recommend them enough to people that love fantasy and that love young adult books. Honestly, in the shop, I I recommend this to everyone that's like, oh, can you can you give me a fantasy book? And I'm like, oh. Ha! Yes I can! And that's it for me today guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've made you want to read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom because read it. That's all I'm gonna say. I will see you in my next video. Bye!